everybody. I'm planning a, well, first of all, I'm Frida Stopper and I'm planning a party for, a winter party for the kids this afternoon. So I'm working on uh, making chicken tenders and um, shrimp tostadas and, uh, and caramel popcorn. Those are th the things on the menu. So I will let, uh, have you guys uh, invite you to join us, join me, watch me what I'm making for them. Um, and I'm going to be drinking coffee right now before I get started. All right, there is the chicken thawed and I put two cups of buttermilk in it. And I'm going to leave it in the buttermilk overnight. Okay, now I had to go buy more chicken because I noticed that we don't have enough for the amount of kids that are coming this afternoon for a winter break party. They're starting their winter break today, so they want to celebrate. And I went and bought four packs of um, um, chicken tenders from the... Uh, from Jerusalem Market. I'm going to put that in uh, buttermilk as well. Like the other chicken breasts were in since last night. So I decided to add these to buttermilk as well or add buttermilk to these. And these will continue to marinate today and I'll cook these last so they have a longer chance. There. So So today's their last day of school until January sometime. I'm just gonna layer it in, make sure it's just covered. I've got four packs of tenders. The other, um, the other bucket is um, breasts that I have to slice. That's okay, I don't mind. They're both very good forms of chicken breast. So the menu was decided by my kids. They decided they want fried chicken and they want uh, Gordon Ramsay's um, recipe, that, which requires it to be marinated in buttermilk and they want caramel popcorn, Gordon Ramsay's recipe. <laughs> and they want his recipe of um, shrimp tostadas. All right, the brown sugar and the salt are already here in the pot for the caramel popcorn. The kids requested a Gordon Ramsay recipe of caramel popcorn. So uh, they said, don't stir it. I'm starting to mix the salt and sugar together. Now I'm not gonna stir it while it melts. And after it's melted, I'll be adding butter. I doubled the recipe because uh, I have a lot of children. There are 10 children gonna be here at the party, the kids' winter party, uh, celebrating because it's uh, the semester is over and um, they have two weeks of vacation now. So this is one of the requests they had, Gordon Ramsay's um, salted, uh, caramel popcorn and the other uh, two recipes they requested were also from Gordon Ramsay. They wanted buttermilk, um, the buttermilk uh, marinated chicken and they want uh, tostadas, shrimp tostadas. So I'll let you watch that uh, come about. I'm going to be a busy cook this afternoon while the kids play and run around. Oh, I keep forgetting I'm not supposed to stir. 
I don't want to make a mistake here. I'm supposed to leave it. Now, the only other two ingredients will be the butter and the baking soda. It has four ingredients in the sauce. It is brown sugar, sea salt, um, baking soda, and butter, and that's it. So I'll show you when this melts. I already cooked the popcorn, it's ready. I made it in my popper stove top. I used that brand from uh, Aldi. So I've cut the butter up so it can melt faster after I put it in. It's melting a little. I'm moving the pan around on the burner to help it, but they said you can move the pot around, but do not stir it until it, it's all melted. All right, this pan is big. It's extra large. I got it from Audi and I like it a lot and I believe it's perfect for spreading caramel popcorn on after I mix it. It's been cooking about six minutes and that is how it's looking now uh, uh, keep in mind i have i did this when i was a teenager my mom taught me but i that has been a while that's been 30 years ago i can't believe it's been 30 years but it has so uh this is like starting over to learn how to do this the hardest thing is to stop myself from stirring it so keep in mind the caramel wants to be shaken not stirred okay this pot is pretty large so i decided to turn on both burners to help it and they're both on medium it's been melting for 20 minutes now and it's going slowly i don't want to burn it but since this pot is fairly large I think having it on on two burners is going to help and be okay. As long as I check it every couple of minutes to make sure it's melting and not burning. Okay, it's starting to work a little bit more since I put it on two burners. Yeah, melting good. It's a cooking. It's been taking a while. I think because I doubled the recipe and I have a really large pot, it might be taking a little longer. But um, I'm also being very cautious by keeping it on the lower medium side and on the high medium. Because as soon as I turn it up to higher medium, I see smoke. And I don't want to see smoke because that'll mean it's burning. Okay. So it's bubbling. Bubbling over there. Um, closing the gap. Closing the gap. I can't wait to add the baking soda and the butter. Okay, I'm adding the butter. Soda. What happened to it? It's all melted. Oh, it's already beginning to come out. Yes, it's now I'm adding the baking soda. It's already be not beginning to burn anymore. Yep. Yeah. It says it really bubbles up when it has a baking it's soda. It's slowly becoming bright. Yep. Yeah. It looks like coffee. Oh, yeah. yeah, it does look like chocolate. Now it's becoming lighter. A little bit. Okay. Oh, wow, it's going to cook a little bit more, and then I'm going to pour the popcorn in. Oh, yeah. I wish okay. I got it. Yep, I'm recording. Okay. Look at that popcorn. Don't eat it yet. Don't eat it yet. It's very, very hot. It's very, very hot. You'll burn yourself. Oh. There you have it, folks. Gordon Ramsay's salted caramel popcorn made by my mom. <laughs> Be careful, it's very Don't eat it yet! Don't eat it yet! What are you doing? It's 
very hot. It's just caramel oh, drip. It's not hair. No, it's not doodle. hair. It's, it's a doodle. No, it's caramel. There you have it. Look at that. That's all I'm using. I'm using Gordon Ramsay's recipe all the way. I, I threw my own recipe out the window for tonight because the kids requested this and I'm so scared because I've never had good luck with a flour crust. I have always good luck with panko. So I used all of the seasonings in the recipe. I used the smoked paprika, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper, and sea salt. And the only thing I haven't done yet is black pepper, but that's going in now. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm ready to go, the oil's hot, and I'm ready to go. Muhammad, so Mohammed says that it, uh, my original recipe tastes bitter, but this is fine. But my original one with the panko crust tastes bitter. So, so I'm just going to finish this as it is, and then I'm going to use the panko for the rest. You made the other recipe? The yeah, one? yes. Pretty easy. I think even though it has buttermilk, I think I can still dip it in panko. So I double dipped it because the boys asked for extra crunch. And that's how it looks in the, in the pan. This is the normal recipe for what's Gordon Ramsay, yes. But they all agree that my original recipe with the panko crumbs are the best. So nobody can compete with me, not even Gordon Ramsay or my original recipe. <laughs> All right, those were the ingredients I used in the Gordon Ramsay recipe. I used a unbleached white all-purpose flour from Bob's Red Mill, which I think I bought it. It was on sale sometime when I got it, I believe. And I used smoked paprika, bell, black pepper, some kosher salt, uh, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper, and that was it. That's that was in the in oh, the crust. But okay. But now I'm using. Uh, I'm going to move forward with the next. Uh, after I run out of this coating, I'm going to use panko because my kids prefer the panko. So this was a good thing to try for fun. was better but they still like this enough that it's disappearing as fast as I can make it. <laughs> Those kids here. All right this was the quick rescue for the uh, caramel popcorn fail. I got the kids some fresh popcorn and um, put lemon pepper seasoning in it. They love it and they, uh, they ate a bowl of uh, cheddar cheese flavored popcorn already and, and this is the second bowl and it's lemon pepper. Gosh, I'm tired after all that. Well, the kids have, have had their party. They've been running around having fun. And this is the life I love, is to be surrounded by children who are allowed to be children. And that's my fun in life, my joy. And I uh, raise my kids that way. And I, I, they, I like it when all of their friends come and also make a lot of noise together. <laughs> That's what being a kid is about, is making a lot of noise. So thank you for watching everyone and have a good winter break. Bye-bye.